What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here, and welcome back to the Mordor Let's Play. Um, okay, I've skipped a quite a few amount of, uh, amount of turns ahead, simply because, um, if you guys can remember, I was besieging Wolberg. Now, I was besieging Wolberg and Terrace Anduin was about to be taken. Now, there was fucking nothing in Wolberg, so I thought, um, well... I'm gonna I'm gonna take Warburg. I'm just gonna auto resolve it because the uh, there was like half a stack of Isengard troops. There was two Urk, uh, Uruk, just like the general Uruk unit. Then there was one lot of Berserkers, and there was two lots of catapults. And I thought, okay, that'll be easy about to kill um, Hol Uther, Hol Uther, um, because he seems he's only got four units. Well, when I took that, in the next turn, they got pushed back. I don't know if they ran, they saw me taking it. I don't really know why they, they ran back. But I was thinking, great, now I'm going to have to start the episode. We're going to have to move all the way up here and then besiege. So it'll be three turns before I even got it started. So I skipped ahead. I'm besieging Tirith Anduin. Now, also, surprisingly, King Thandil has decided to pop up um, with Ilshvid, who is um, pretty sure that's Liam Nelson. Anyway, um, so we're going to take that in this episode. So, um, quickly just to recap some other stuff as well. Uh, this diplomat, where was he? There was a, that's why I've got my diplomat here. There was a dwarven diplomat just walking about. I think, great, I don't have to move, where's this other prick? Here. Um, we'll move him, yeah. Actually, we'll move him there. Um. Instead of moving him all the way to the no negotiate with the dwarves to get map information to see where they are, I'll just talk to him. And we had to pay, I think it was a thousand for two turns, so it wasn't that bad. So, now, that was like four turns ago. So the dwarves have taken pretty much all of this. I wanted to see if they actually had these lands here. So if it's not under the command of Dale, um, let's hope Rune has pushed them back a little bit. But uh, we're going to be pushing on Rune to try to retake their homeland. So, I also have two full stacks coming up here. Um, because I've just been recruiting like crazy. Um, this is going to come here. And then we've got another Nuzgul going to have another full stack. So, that's three full stacks there. We currently have two full stacks at Wolberg and the Witch King. I didn't want to push all my troops north to Tenneth Anduin. Because I think one's okay to take that. Because as soon as we defeat Rohan, there's going to be two full stacks spawning. We do have... Just under one half, nah. um, we just have nearly uh, a half a stack, nearly a full, just in case. Because I, I don't know where they spawn, so we're going to have to quickly get there and kill them as quickly as possible. So, we've got two stacks to the south, two stacks at Warburg, one stack at Tenneth Anduin. We have three stacks to the south and a half a stack at Edoras. Um, yeah. So, we're going to take Tirith Anduin in this turn, and then we're going to be fighting off um, the remaining forces. King, Thren King Thendal is actually there, so we'll kill him off. We'll quickly get this siege underway. Um, I was thinking of moving those, actually, three troops into Rune, like now, but seeing there's going to be two full stacks, I want to get, get this quickly and uh, over as possible. So, uh, yeah. We're going to be saving the Easterlings from Dale and the Dwarves. So we're going to be fighting them, which is it's going to be cool. Okay, um, let's get on with this siege, shall we? I forgot to take out the art. There's too many archers in this army, I feel. So I'll chuck you there. Um, it seems real deserty. I'm not really too sure why. Um, we're not that far to the north. Um, Nemorians, I don't want him there. So they can stay back with the archers. Nazgul. Okay. Um, swordsmen. Get up on the rams, lads. Um, yeah, we might as well get some flanking units. But I won't put any supporting troops with them. Because I don't think it's really needed. Okay. Everyone else that is here and is not a part of the... Oh, now we've got another ram here. We'll put you up there. The ram strike force. Push them up so they can get a little bit of a... Well, a bit of a... Uh, running's better than none. So... Everyone that's not an archer can go 
Yeah, even the trolls. So we'll push, we'll push everyone up because I do feel like these guys uh, are further back. I do want the Nazgul there to give us some form of support. I don't know if it's even worth bringing up archers because the time we get there, we're going to take this. So once we've taken this settlement, um, I'm hoping that those units spawn. Where we can get rid of Rohan and then we can focus on more uh, pressing matters. It should be fun. The plan was to take the Elves of Lorien, but actually, depending on how much money we have, we might have enough money to fund. No, I don't think so. Seeing that the Dwarves and Dale have another kingdom, probably on their own, if they only had Erebor and just those northern settlements. I think it's like Khazadum or Khazadum. I can't quite remember the name of the settlement, but I do know there's a, a pretty decent northern Dwarven settlement. Northern Dwarven. <laughs> uh, rhyming like a wizard here. Anyway, um, but yeah, um, yeah, I just changed my mind. I totally contradicted myself. I, I think things have taken, we need to get to, they're opening the gate. They're foolish. No matter, we have four more. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we need to try save the Easterlings as quickly as possible. Man, these Rohirrim. Put up a bit of... No, oh, no, they didn't. They nowhere near as much as Gondor. Gondor was a pain in my ass. Um, had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun taking it, of course, but it was just... There was just so many fucking settlements. <laughs> and once you've broken, if you've broken like that uh, that triple threat thing, the... Osgiliath. Um, when you've taken Minas Tirith. We, um... We took we killed Faramir pretty early on. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Move up. We've like surrounded their bodyguard here between the gateway. They're not routing, are they? No. We'll we'll form up just behind them so we can uh, capture it. But yeah, if you can get in behind those spearmen, there are only raiders. We've taken down another piece of the wall. Maybe we can get to the town square before them, and then we can uh, take it with ease. Come on, lads. Get in there. Drop it. Get there as quickly as possible. How long until this ram goes down? 90 seconds? Sorry, it was at 90%. Um... And everyone should be running while we get there. So guys, I guess, um, if you would like to, uh, would you be please be able to leave a like on the video? And I just would like to thank the support for this series. It's been absolutely fantastic. Um, thank you if you've left a like, you favorite the video, you subscribe because of this series, or you've just commented a suggestion for the campaign. Um, I thank you guys a lot. Um, it means a lot to me. So, um, yeah, seeing as we're on the topic of plugging stuff, you're most welcome to go follow me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter is at Simsy. I don't really, I don't really tweet, to be quite honest. I've only, I yeah, I barely tweet. I probably get like one tweet a month. But I do have my U, my YouTube connected to my Twitter. So every time I put out a video, it tweets out a thing. So if you turn notifications on to your Twitter, you'll be able to see when I upload a video instantly, really. Because um, I know, um, I do personally myself watch other people's content, and sometimes I'm eager for the next series and I want to know like <laughs> I want to know when it comes out so uh, turning the Twitter notification on just pushes it through my phone like a text message and uh, so yeah okay we're in the square now are these archers the militia okay we're gonna send those to deal with them by the time let's just hopefully hold them where are the trolls we need to get them to attack them. Have we killed the general yet? Or is it just like a cluster fucking here? We'll push the trolls up as well to break these guys. Oh shit. What's that noise? Cave troll. Oh my god. They are getting absolutely destroyed. Huh. 
Rip him to pieces, lads. Now, where did their general bodyguard go? Four minutes until we take the town square. Push you guys up. There's no way unless they retreat to move through. Oh my god. And these are just, these are just mountain trolls. Uh, oh yeah, they're mountain trolls, not cave trolls. I'm sorry. Jesus. Oh no, there's their general. So, I don't know where Theoden is. Maybe we've killed Theoden. Not sorry. We've, I know we've definitely killed Theoden. Did we kill Thadred? We must have killed Thadred. I must have forgotten because I was looking for him. King Thendal's still about. Who would have thought that? Oh, we lost a cave troll. I might push my cave trolls out of this because... They've done their work for today. Oh, these guys are nearly not in the town square. Go back. Because <laughs> that would have been a uh, pain in the ass. <coughs> oh, I apologise about that, guys. I had no idea. That was that was quick and fast. <laughs> oh, um, I do really apologise about that. That was totally unprofessional, but... Where the hell did that come from? It snuck up on me. <laughs> oh, I might leave that in. That was quite random. That was like, achoo, achoo. <laughs> it's like, I, like, I didn't, I, I'm not, I wasn't sniffy or I didn't yawn or anything. <laughs> Rightio. <laughs> okay. Two more minutes until we've taken the settlement. We've lost 6% to their 90s. So that's not too bad. It's made me a little bit sniffy now, however. Ah. I'm really enjoying this campaign. We've had a lot of fun. Uh, Gondor and now Rohan is taken. I would have hoped that... Well, I guess... For me, it's not too bad. But I would have hoped that Isengard... Um, would have pushed them a lot more. They did have assistance for the Wildmen of Dunland as well. It's good that we didn't have to take those settlements. One more unit remaining there. How much left are the enrolling Axemen? There mustn't be many. Six. Yeah. I reckon we're going to kill them all before the time of the town square. But Rohan did fight. Fight? <laughs> they did fight valiantly. Whether or not I am going to play against the two stacks that do spawn, we'll see. Um, I did last time. I think it was simply because Boromir spawned. But I, I'm not a fan of the fact that... Oh, we haven't actually killed... Oh, no, we killed all the spear militia. That's that's why they moved. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I'm not really a fan of those two stacks spawning when I've conquered the kingdom, and especially in the Gondor situation, where, like I said, I conquered the whole kingdom. The only people were left are the... All the military's dead. Like, only peasants and uh, other men are still about. So they're not going to have, like, good equipment at their disposal. Enemy general fallen. Holof the Honest. Well, that's good. He was honest to the bitter end. Or lager end. <laughs> ah, the world's end. <laughs> Dawn death. We deployed 3,581. We lost 200 troops. Um, they deployed 417, and we killed all of them on the battlefield. Obviously, I was... No, where were we in doubt of not losing that? But uh, the battle... Um, of the last alliance there. Fucking love that scene. When they just go shoo, 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 when they move up the blades. Tereth Anduin is taken. Now let's see where these two full stacks go exactly. I might do toggle foe. Seeing we're not at war with anyone, and I wanna know where these two stacks are. We're just going to give Moz a little bit. Obviously, it's going to take a little while. The intern phase, as you're accustomed to, takes longer. And especially spawning in additional units. They went north. How far north did they go? But, um... Okay. That was a mission. Why is Barakdul my capital? 
We probably should change that. But I'll take that. This made a new Orange. Cheers. Faction annihilated. With the destruction of this faction, the balance of power has changed. If at all, only a small remaining could escape the fall of the once powerful nation. Should this power be able to materialize again, the balance of good versus evil may be restored. Okay. Um, we'll move my diplomat still going. We're going to do a save. Now, where did that army go exactly? Um, I think it went north. So I'm going to... Actually, we we'll probably should just rally back up. We're not at war with anyone, are we? We are at war with Rohan, but apart from that, we're not. We're allies with Isengard, Harad, Rune, and the Wildman of Dunland. So we are going to go toggle foe simply because... Or maybe maybe we should do toggle foe and look everywhere else and see how the world's shaping up. We already know the situation going down in Rune. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to go toggle foe. I'm going to show you the whole map. I do apologize if you don't like cheating, but it's not really cheating. We Don't you want to know what's happening over in the east? Because we're never, we're never going to... The west, we're never going to reach it. Um, and by the time... We defeat the the faction. Well, we defeat Rohan wherever they went. That's going to probably take us probably three or four more episodes, and then we have to march all the way over to Rune. The units aren't obviously going to be in the same place, so I do apologise, but um, I'm going to do it. So we'll go toggle foe simply first to see how where these armies are. So they've just pushed a little bit north. So how many is that? King Thandor. Not as much as what I anticipated, but still, that is quite a lot. So, we're going to start... Let's actually move north to see. So, the Elves of Lorien have taken Moria, the mountain fort, and they've taken Imladris, really. I, I imagine the Orcs of the Misty Mountain took them. They only have one settlement left. Horwell. That's interesting. The Sylvan Elves have really pushed north into Gundabad. And uh, there's obviously that. Orcs of Gundabad have pushed north against the dwarves. But what's going on in here? Oh, wow. The Orcs of the Gundabad have really pushed. They've taken Bree. They haven't taken Saddle. They've taken Amon Sul. Hobbiton, Mitchell Delving, and Longbottom are still preoccupied. There's a lot of rebel settlements. Londor, Aragon. And Thorin's holes, especially. That's interesting. Killed them. They're still occupied by the elves. And most there. But let's have a look what's happening over in... Uh, actually, let's look, look south. Nothing's happening south, of course. Quite boring, to be quite honest. Anyway, let's have a look to where we're going to be heading. So it looks like Thorberg is still preoccupied by them. I think I gifted that to them. Jesus. They've taken so many settlements here. So, Rune only has this and a couple of southern settlements. We nearly could be exposed for an attack from the south. But we're going to be going to try to retake the Rune homeland. Yeah. As and As and. As and Umbla. As Umbla. Zulimba, doom. Fuck. <laughs> um, and then, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna retake the the Rune homeland, and then uh, we're gonna keep it for our own. They're not trusted to have their own homeland, and I do want the money. Um, and then we'll push on River Run. Yay! We're going to Westeros and pushing the Riverlands, <laughs> Asgoroth, Dale, and Erebor. But we're gonna go back off to Toggleflo. So that's quite interesting how the the world is kind of shaped up over in the west. Looks like the, the mountain ranges with the elves. Man, it would have been difficult. But we're going to push on these guys. So we're going to move the Witch King north. Yeah, because I, I didn't know where they were going to spawn. So I didn't want to move the Witch King all the way back to, say, I didn't want to move him north to Tirithandu and move my forces north just in case they spawned over at, like, northern Falberg, which is fucking ridiculous. But we're going to move... 
once we can everyone up there. Um, yeah, we have a full stack at Edoras, which we, we, we don't need to have. Uh, yes, we do. We do need to leave some sort of force there to keep the populace a little bit happy. Two archers and two swordsmen, and we'll keep that general there. Antway doesn't seem to be too happy. We can build Ballista here, which is good to see, I guess. We are building troll cages. I, for I totally forgot to mention. We're building... Oh, we already have. We've already built one in Minas. Uh... Morgul, and we are building more trolls at the Black Gate. More units coming across. We've nearly got another full stack at the Black Gate. More troops moving to Minas Tirith to make another full stack. Ah, oh, it's looking good so far, this campaign. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you watched all the way through, I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like on this video to support my channel. I do apologize if you're not a fan of the Toggle Flow. I know um, Lionheart and Sapphire Phoenix, actually, I think they do it usually at turn 100. This is other YouTubers that do it. And I think it's a good idea um, to show how the other world shapes are. I, I don't agree with it in Westeros until the very, very end um, of the campaign. But um, it's interesting to see that the the elves have pushed into the mountains. Orcs of the Misty Mountains are nearly annihilated and they only have one settlement left. Imladris is currently occupied by the elves of Lorien. I'm sure Lord Elrond isn't happy to see Galadrim there <laughs> sitting on his seat. But, uh, yeah... It's going to be very interesting. We've got a big task at hand taking back Rune from the Dwarves and Dale because they have a, they have a rather small kingdom to the north here. Um, but Os Esgoroth, is Os oh yes, I keep on, like, fuck it. Esgoroth, Dale, excuse me, and Erebor have a really good income. But with the might of another kingdom, good God, it's going to... Uh, it's going to be um, it's going to be a challenge, and I really can't wait for it. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Once again, I do apologise, and make sure to go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks a lot, guys. Goodbye.